This activity is similar to convection part one, but we've added a little twist in the form of a blue ice cube, which I'll show you in about a minute. Begin by uh, setting the box of cool water onto the styrofoam cups, just as you did in convection part one. Let the water become calm. And then you're going to add a spot of, of red food coloring. And that spot will be placed in the position shown right about now. Once you have the spot in place, you will get a cup of very hot water. And that cup of very hot water will be placed beneath the spot. Then we like to let it uh, have a minute to get, a, get started. Once the spot starts to rise, once the convection begins, place a blue ice cube at the other end of the box, right about here. As long as the water is calm, the ice cube should sit there and slowly melt. As the ice cube melts, it generates uh, cold water, which is blue. And since it's cold, it's heavy, and it will sink to the bottom, moving toward the place where the uh, water is rising at the other end of the box. So you can think of the place where the water is rising as the equator, and you can think of the place where the, the cold blue water is sinking as the pole. So in the box we have one big convection cell. We have hot air rising at the equator being replaced by cold air that was sinking at the poles moving in to replace the rising hot air. Now in reality there are actually three cells in each hemisphere due to the Coriolis effect, that is the spinning of the earth. 